So you've got to go live, you've got to do online videos, you've got to do online presentations, and you might be wondering, which camera should I use? Well, today I'm going to talk about five camera options that you have for doing online presentations or even live streaming. Five, one, two, three, four, fifth. Yeah. Let's do it. What's happening? What's happening? Robert Kennedy the third here, RK3. That's me back with another video chatting with you about online presentations, public speaking, communication, storytelling, you know, everything that we do that is in that arena. For those of you who've watched the channel before, I work with leaders who need to deliver critical messages with confidence. If you haven't watched the channel before, why not? Let's go watch the channel. Watch the channel. <laughs> well, listen, today I'm just gonna do a quick run through of five cameras that you can use if you are thinking about doing online presentations or live streaming or creating videos like maybe these on YouTube. So I'll just kind of name them really quickly. My, my computer is a Mac mini, so I don't have a built-in computer. So every camera that we're gonna talk about today is an external camera. Of course, there's the first one. The main one that I'm using right now is my big baby. That's my Panasonic Lumix G7. And we'll go through some of the things that you can do with that in just a moment. And I'm gonna be talking about a Logitech C922. I'm gonna be talking about an old iPhone 7. And I'm gonna be talking about, what's the other one? Oh, a Logitech Brio. We'll, we're gonna talk about that. And we're also going to talk about, ooh, another one, a GoPro. Yeah. All right. So let's let's start walking through them. Now, here's the deal. If you're if you're doing presentations and, and you've got a laptop computer, especially if it's a Mac computer, you might have a camera that's already built in. That's the FaceTime HD camera. And if that's what you got, then that's what you got. Okay? Go ahead and use that if that's what you have. But I'm willing to bet that even if that's all you had, you probably have a cell phone. You probably have a smartphone. And I'm willing to bet that the quality of camera on your smartphone is gonna be even better than what you can get from that laptop camera. So if I had to make a recommendation to you, go ahead and start out with using the cameras that are on your phones. Okay, so as a matter of fact, let me do this. I'm going to show you, we're going to walk through five different ones, and I'm going to start out with a camera that I have on an old iPhone 7 that I keep connected just for occasions like this. So let's look at that one. Okay, so this is the camera on my old iPhone 7, the the focus, I mean, the, the, it's not bad. I, you know, I'm using the same lighting. I haven't changed the lighting from what I was using before. And this is the back camera on that iPhone 7. And, you know, a lot of times when you're filming with your phone, you probably want to see yourself. So a lot of people tend to use the selfie cameras. So let me see if I can switch to that one. Okay, so this is the selfie camera of the iPhone 7. And hold on one second, why am I, yeah. This is a selfie camera. Lighting is a little bit different. I actually prefer the lighting on this side a little bit to the lighting or how the camera on the back picks up the lighting. So um, you can see that it's you know not too bad. It's not it's not terrible as far as the quality of this. So you know not a bad place to start. This is my Logitech C922. You can see that it's gone up a little bit in quality. Um, I'm holding it with my hand because I had it connected somewhere else. I was actually, it was an extra camera on my wall, but you're kind of seeing that, um, you know, I have the same amount of light. I've got one light from my key light air on, and you can see that the quality isn't too bad, especially at this, this, this distance as I get a little bit closer. Ooh, you can see HD. All right. So as I get a little bit closer, if I put my hand closer, you can kind of see the camera adjusting a bit. 
all right, to get a little bit a little bit better quality, you know. But the further away that you get, um, you know, the, the the focus isn't as clean and clear, and of course, you're not going to get super super crisp definition. You're not going to do be able to do depth of field. You're not going to be able to get any background blur or anything with the C922. But still, a really solid camera, especially if you're doing online presentation. So this is the Logitech Brio and this is the, which one? One, two, third. This is the third camera and this is a really solid HD camera. I mean, when I look in the, the, the lighting, of course it, it overexposes and you've got to adjust it a little bit to get to the color that you want if you have additional software, but it's still actually really good. I'm gonna open up the the camera settings app and I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna show it to you on screen, but what one of the things that you can do with the Logitech, C, the Brio that you cannot do with the C922 is you can adjust the field of view. So uh, you can have a field of view which is 65 degrees you can have a field of view, and I'm just switching here, which is 78 degrees, and then you can make that even wider with a field of view that is 90 degrees. So talking about wide angle, you're getting a whole lot more when you when you use that Logitech Brio, and the quality isn't really bad. So I would have, in order to really get it crisp, I would have to adjust the lighting in here. So for example, if I were to turn this light off, uh, actually, let me turn it down, and I would turn my fill light on you kind of see things a little bit differently in here but this is this is that i'm going to turn this back off because i really want to keep the same amount of light for each of these cameras okay so that is my logitech brio now a fourth camera which might be surprising for some people which i'm holding in my hand is a logitech not a logitech a gopro hero now they're up to the Go GoPro Hero 8. This is actually a GoPro Hero 3, which you can get on eBay for like 20 bucks, 20, 25 dollars, right? And all you gotta do is get a USB cable to keep it plugged in somewhere or get a dummy battery. Uh, let me see, is there, yeah. Or, or get a dummy battery. And then you gotta get the micro HDMI to plug that into a capture card. And you can get one of those for about, you know, 10 to 20 bucks on, on eBay as well, or on Amazon, actually. You can get better quality from the GoPro, even an older GoPro, than you would from the built-in laptop camera. So this is, this is not too bad, and I mostly use this kind of just as an extra background or different angle for, for things. And then finally, this is a Panasonic Lumix G7. That's what you're seeing right now with an upgraded lens. This is a 20 millimeter f 1.7 lens, and that really allows you to get some of that depth of field, a little bit of the blur in the background, and that provides a little bit of character, a little bit of depth. So it really depends on where you are, what your budget is, and what you want to do. But I just wanted to share with you at least a few of the different types of cameras that you can use if you are going to do online presentations, live streaming, or online videos. Now, the choice is yours. You got to determine where you want to be. Um, so let me hold these things up. This was the, the iPhone 7. That I, that I mentioned earlier, check this out. The front, I don't know if you can see, the front is like cracked up, <laughs> right? The front, is, the front is cracked, but I am able to put that to use. You know, you've got the Logitech, the C922 there. And you also have, what was the other one? The Logitech Brio, I'm not gonna pick that up. Actually, maybe I should, let me just do that. Logitech Brio, there you go, boom. All right, I'll set Brio. Let's see if we can get this. I'll need to get this fixed again for the sake of this video. Let me just take this out. Then there's the GoPro. Yeah, the GoPro Hero 3. Clean HDMI out. Easy. And then my baby, the Lumix G7. So that's all I wanted to share. Just wanted to kind of give you a quick run through. I'll put links in the description to all of these. You can also go to rk3homestudio.com to see all of these 
pieces of equipment or the different cameras or the things that, that I use to do live streaming or online presentations. Hey, listen, if you've got questions about any of these things, don't forget to connect with me at the Storytellers Growth Lab or just simply leave your question in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click that bell so that you can get notifications whenever I drop new videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon.